What is the most overrated product you've purchased? Sears Best Canister Vacuum Cleaner. It was expensive. But lasted a few days over one year and quit, with only light household use. Sears wouldn't stand behind it. The cost of parts and repair was greater than the cost of the vacuum cleaner. No wonder Sears is in trouble. Overly expensive paint brushes from hobby companies designed to specifically paint equally expensive plastic models miniatures. You're better off buying brushes from an art store or getting some of the top brands like Artis Opus or Windsor and Newton Series 7. A fashiji ball. The marketing for that was genius though. Contact juggling is a skill but the ball has almost nothing to do with it. The ball just looks uniform on all parts so you can't tell when it's rotating or rolling. It's like showing someone a performance of an expert card cheat and telling them that by buying the deck of cards. You too can do what he does. Technically not wrong. They just didn't tell you how much practice goes into it. $400 Buffy brand eucalyptus comforter. Supposed to be fluffy and not hot. Totally too hot. How were its vampire slaying abilities? I bought one of those oversized gag lighters thinking the flame was going to be proportionally big. It wasn't. Nearly everything I bought on Kickstarter Indiegogo. If I got the product at all. They're almost always low quality and don't do what they said they would. Some products would ship but the company goes under within a year or two so no more support or replacement parts. A garden hose that was unkinkable. I paid extra for the guaranteed kink free feature. It kinked up like a mothafuga. I bought an unbreakable handle axe at Home Depot that used revolutionary new technology and it broke on the third swing. Replaced it with a hickory handle axe which I still use 22 years later. Probably half the curly hair products I buy. Literally 95% fragrance and 5% good stuff. I should really do my research beforehand. Edit. Wow this blew up overnight. Thank you to everyone offering help and thanks for the awards. Edit too. Sea monkeys. When I was little. I ordered some from the back of a comic book. I thought they would look like the picture. A nuclear family who would interact and talk to me. Unfortunately. They were turned out to be very non-sentient brine shrimp. It was very anticlimactic. Victoria's Secret Panties. Sham wows should be called shammers. I bought the slap chop. Pure garbage. It literally exploded upon users directed. No flames or anything. But all the parts came apart and went flying. A 2020 planner. Bought the SKII essence that always gets raved about in skincare communities. Used it at the same time as tretinoin and thought it was helping in the process of clearing my skin. Stopped using it and turns out, it was just the tret. There was no difference in my skin after I stopped using it. The stuff is $100 a bottle. Arch Age. I remember it being marketed a sandbox MMO with realistic player driven economy. There was a pack that let you into alpha. A pack that let you into beta. And a pack that let you into few days of early access. All of the packs contained nothing but some cosmetic items irrelevant to the economy. The alpha was good. The beta was good. But with the final release. They fired up the cash store with such extreme pay to win. To be fair. PTW does strike me as a realistic player driven economy. They just neglected to say it would be the IRL economy. When I was around 9. I got really convinced by their 5 million dollars marketing campaign with Mortal Kombat that the Aura Interactor was going to be awesome. It was basically a haptic feedback backpack that converted bass sounds to rumbles and was supposed to make video games super immersive. I was actually nervous that it was going to hurt me. Like actually feel like I was being punched. I, somehow convinced my mom to buy it. Set the thing up. And 10 minutes later I smelled smoke and then saw the smoke coming from the interactor on my back. Coach handbag. The strap broke after a few months and coach refused to fix it, after I brought it back in the receipt to the store where I had purchased it. I bought an inexpensive replacement strap that lasted longer. 
After less than a year. There was evident wear at the seams. I have not purchased anything from Coach again. Coach has absolutely degraded its own brand. Not what it once was. Shake weight IA. But on the plus side. Your jerking off abilities went up tenfold. Most of my academic books. Cough cough. And NBSP. Libgen. RS. And NBSP. The hour. Within 5 minutes of turning it on. I regretted it. Earwax candles. After laying on the floor like an idiot with a flaming burning candle in my ear. I took a minute to actually think about the process. Fool's gold. I bought a platform bed on the recommendation of the wire rocketer. They had this whole big spiel about how they test tea. This is the best affordable option. Blah blah blah. I had to return the first one I bought because it came scratched up. The second one is just a plain. Cheap platform bed. I don't think there's anything about it different from what I could have gotten from just hunting down the cheapest version of the product. Edit. Spiel. You pedants. Wirecutter Wire went straight to crap around the time they became a knit publication. Now the majority of their recommendations seem to be the what's the most expensive option with an affiliate link. One of their recent lists of gifts for a college grad included a $200 wooden bowl. I bought this neck massager thing from an Instagram ad. It was a cheap plastic thing with two foam balls. I threw it out after a couple weeks realizing it was stupid as hell. Cable TV. More of a service than a product. Spent the past 5 years without it. Added for 2 months and there is nothing worth watching. An indestructible dog bed. Even claimed it could withstand bulldogs. Well. My bulldog tore out the rod that propped it open. Which turned out to be flimsy plastic. Within a week. She had torn off a zipper. And ripped the filling out. I was more angry at the company for making such false claims than my under one year old dog. Edit to fix a typo. I don't know if this will help you. But I had a large dog that destroyed every fluffy thing he could get his paws on. I ended up buying him a crib mattress to use as a bed. He couldn't get his mouth around to chew it. And as a bonus I picked out cute baby sheets that I could wash every week. So I live in the UK. And Gatorade isn't really much of a thing here. It was even less of a thing a few years ago. We do have a very similar looking drink called Powerade. The only shop I knew that sold Gatorade at the time of this story was a big Tesco. And it was like 3 times the price of Powerade. Solely because it's Gatorade and it's from the states. I casually say to my mates one day man I wanna try Gatorade but it's so expensive and they're all like omg you haven't tried Gatorade? Mate it is so sick you gotta try it at least once. This got my hype so I thought duck it. I'll treat myself. Buy it. And take a swig. This tea is exactly the same as Powerade. I just paid like a Q3. 54 essentially a power raid I could have got for a quid. I confronted my mates about it and they were just like. Well it is a little different. Bitch that is not how you described it to me the other day. A waterbed. It was. Unsettling. A smeg appliance. Comically inefficient. Poorly constructed and terribly expensive new. We have a fridge. But got it super cheap second hand because some of the plastic shelves were cracked. We needed a drinks fridge and it was a bargain. They look funky and cool with 50s retro vibe. And really not much technical development in 50 years other than low cost manufacturing. I have no idea how and why they are in business. Oh. Look at the cost of the limited Smeg Dolce and Gabbana. You acute 500 for a bloody kettle. I'm sorry. I haven't heard of these. They really named it. Smeg. P Run Hub Premium. I'm not joking. P Run Hub. Premium. WTF just Google big booby like 50 billion results. Please. No one say a Roomba. I really want a Roomba. Reddit Premium. A Connie 2012 t-shirt. I have a bachelor's in philosophy. 
one coat paint. It never is. One of those home facial devices that claim to be able to suction out gunk from the pores of your face. The ads looked amazing. And the gunk that got removed looked so satisfying. So I bought one. Didn't suction out shit. Just left red circles on my skin. Wireless skull candy headphones that were OA120. Thank god I got insurance because I had to use it twice in less than 2 years. Same problem both times. Meanwhile my old wired OA30 Sony pair are running on 5 years old and work perfectly. Literally got my second replacement yesterday and got wireless Sony headphones of the same value. Never buying skull candy again. Galaxy Fold Z2 it's heavy and thick in the hand. The phone closed, which I use 80% of the time, feels too narrow to text on. The phone opened, used only in bed. Is very nice. But only in a position where you are already relaxing and probably could have just used a TV tablet anyway. Fiji water. My niece was driving me insane so that I bought her a Fiji bottle. When I did she said it tastes like water. Samsung refrigerator. I got lucky but so many in reviews I've read did not. Ice makers stopped working 7 months in. They sent someone to repair. Worked less than 24 hours before stopping again. Samsung called and said I could either get a new refrigerator but no more on the 1 year warranty, which by this time had only 4 months left, or they'd refund my money and come get it. I totally took the refund. By this time I'd read horror stories online about these things. Went and bought a different brand and I'm much happier. Ribbed for her pleasure condoms. Little pleasure was experienced. A Gucci bag. $3000 later. My life was exactly the same but now I had to worry about being a target for getting robbed. A timeshare. Ugh. At Desanai vs Romero. Rakenir buds. The left one has become noticeably quieter than the right one after roughly 8 months of use. They really aren't that much cheaper. They aren't great sound quality, just average overall. And they didn't last. I hated seeing all the paid ads by Yautabas for them because I knew straight away as they were saying how amazing they are that they would throw them in the dumpster and be back wearing their airpods as soon as they're done filming that junk. My smartwatch. It does a few things that my phone can also do. But not all of them. And it's a bitch to recharge. I'm a really deliberate spender. But I once went to an NFL game. Spent $200 per ticket plus $30 to park plus $100 to eat and drink. And that was being stingy. All to sit next to other drunk people and not even get good viewing angles and instant replay. Plus it was hot as hell and I got a sweet sunburn. Never again. If I'm gonna blow $600 on a day out you better believe it's gonna be a whoa a whole lot better than that was. Dyson Pure Hot Plus Cool, too expensive for subpar performance. Sleep number bed, it's just an overpriced inflatable mattress. I bought one of their best at half off. And I still feel ripped off. Oh and back still aches no matter what setting. Air fryer. If you don't eat frozen snack food, it's pretty pointless. It works fine. But you could easily use the oven for most things that people say you should use the fryer for. Also, so many recipes using an air fryer call for oil. Pointless. Heats up instantly which is a massive improvement over waiting 10 minutes for the oven. Mine moves the food around as well. In short I like mine and you can't change my mind condoms. Yeah they are good for storing your PSS if you don't feel like getting up to go the bathroom but they could at least make the little receptacle larger BC I'm sick of my DCK being covered in PSS and then everyone wondering why they hear a sloshing sound while taking a test in math. Cool idea. Urban Decay Naked Eyeshadow Palettes. People always act like those the greatest palettes ever made but for me they had. I tried both Naked 2 and Naked Smoky for the record. No pigment. Don't blend at all. And just overall a trash palette. My mom bought me a MyPillow as a birthday present. 
This was right before my pillow guy got all overthrow the government why, and it was legit the worst pillow I've ever used. Forget the fact it was $40 or $50. I returned it to Amazon and bought a $4 pillow from Target that is just great. My dealer's weed. It ain't that far my dude. It's just regular weed. And that's okay. Fidget spinner. Before it was a kid's toy. Bought one to help me not pick out my cuticles. Then after about 2 months and they got big I just ended up looking like an idiot man child playing with a kid's toy. I have a fidget cube. And I actually prefer that one. It's that same satisfaction as clicking a pen or flicking a switch. Except some buttons are silent so you can do it at the office all day without driving people bonkers. Sims 3 expansion packs. The stuff that's added is great. But it is not worth the $30 price tag. A pool. I didn't buy it. But it was with my house. The thing cost hundreds of dollars of product to maintain. Cost quite a lot in electricity and get used maybe half a dozen time in a summer. Also takes quite a lot of space in my yard. That's not even counting the waste of water. Raise a mouse. My university course. I'm paying you a cute 2000 more per year than people pay for Oxford and the equipment is ducked. The recording spaces are outdated and cramped. It's a course that requires in-person interaction and group work but all of the lectures work are is online due to COVID. Most of the lecturers are only here for something to do between seasons. And half the students don't put any effort into group projects because they have some I'm a depressed. Anxious artiste. I'm so sad. I should do coke about it and not turn up to rehearsals because I'm too hungover complex. Edit. Oh and did I mention. The written assessment style guide doesn't even have a word count table. Children. FBI take note. This one is purchasing children. Better than SX mascara is easily some of the worst mascara on the market and almost everyone who knows makeup will tell you the same thing. A Subaru. It's still a car. It still breaks. If anything. Too high tech for my ass. Won't buy another one based on my experience with their dealerships alone. Had a company owned Ford and got treated like gold when I had to bring it in for regular maintenance. When I actually was a personal owner of a Subaru I felt like the literal last piece of shitty on the road when the vehicle had problems in the first two weeks of ownership. Long story short. Duck Subaru of Brampton and Duck the brand in general for allowing their dealers to be so shtty to people. Subaru Brampton managed to break my windshield while attempting to fix a sensor. A $180 sensor that took them 7 days to fix and never once offered a loan for and I returned to where my windshield basically cracked in half. Again. Duck Subaru Brampton and Duck the brand in general. My car had less than 40k on it and there was problems in the exhaust system that took them more than 3 days to figure out. Beats Pro by DR. Dread. The headphones are so droned and bass it ruins any song you listen to. Now I'm not anti anything popular, for example. I hate the Apple is overrated crowd. In my opinion. These multi-million dollar companies don't care about your wallet. But these headphones. From a non-audiophile standpoint. Are awful and definitely not worth the $400 price tag. Beats by Dread. Pretty much all expensive skin care. Just buy new skin. Snap on tools. Like. What is different about this that it has to cost so much more. Yeah. The warranty is nice and the convenience of the dealer coming to me is cool. Other than that I don't feel the price hike is worth it. To be clear. I'm not a tool truck hater. I have lots of stuff from like all of them. I just can't get over the extra price and cult following of snap on. I've basically quit buying from tool trucks. But I still utilize them for warranties. And the occasional flyer deal. Snap on is popular because they give credit. And your wife doesn't see all the tools you bought and how much you spent on them. They're good tools. But they're so overpriced. A Vornado fan. My whole family made fun of me when they saw it and I said how much it was. 
This company likes to pretend that somehow their products aren't fans but air circulators as if they move air dramatically different than other fans. I returned it because it was no better than a fan one stroke fourth the price. Anthem. Video game. Band-Aid. Still bled out. I bought a my pillow like 3 or 4 years ago during Prime Day on Amazon. This pillow was terrible. I got it fluffed up by throwing it in the dryer for a few minutes like it says to do. Used it for 2 nights. And returned it. It was just a garbage pillow all around. I found these memory foam pillows at Marshalls. They have them all the time. And for the price of one my pillow. I got 4. Greatest damn pillow I ever used. And you can adjust the amount of foam inside it. Weighted blanket. I have anxiety and trouble sleeping. I toss and turn a lot. Heard a weighted blanket could help. And that after some getting used too. They were really comfortable and calming. Nope. Made my anxiety worse and sweated my asshole off. Plus my limbs felt sore. And I purchased the recommended weight for my body weight. Edit. And this is being downvoted why? Because I did have the wrong experience? My college education. Netflix. I just don't get why it's so hyped. There's literally one show movie worth of being watched for every 10 shtty generic cliche registered sci t. Every Netflix original show movie is the same. Like people iterated higher up in the thread. Netflix was good until it became popular. When Netflix got super popular. Every single studio spun their content off to a different service. Today. You'd need to sign up and pay for Netflix. Hulu. Prime Video. Disney Plus. Paramount Plus. Discovery Plus. Peacock. And HBO Max just to get all the shti that you could have got on Netflix 5 years ago. The Witcher 3. Come with me nerds. On the topic of video games. A hair volume spray. Used once and I hated how it made my hair. It's even worse when you touch it. It's like. Your hair is covered in some thick and somehow greasy substance. Keurig. The coffee was watery and weak. And the cup size was never large enough. Fill my mug. Make it black. I found a French press in a free box on the street and it makes a giant pitcher of the best coffee I've ever had. No extra cup costs. And it's easy to clean. My doctorate in physical therapy. 7 years and 90k later I'm a glorified personal trainer for $35 hour. A wedding. An insta pot. I'm convinced everyone who told me this thing was a useful can't cook worth a shti. Or they're busy parents who have 15 minutes to put a hot meal on the table every night. Anything I've put in that thing comes out the same uniform mush. Everything I've tried to make in it is some inferior version of doing it the traditional way. Plus the thing scares the shti out of me. I'm sure it probably wouldn't. But I'm constantly paranoid it's going to explode. Oh man. I love mine. I don't use it as much for the flavors as I do the convenience of the quick cooking time though. Especially from frozen. Food? Went and splurged on a Michelin star restaurant experience and I guess the cook had a bad night cause it was nasty. One experience at one restaurant as you feeling like food is overrated? A Traeger grill. Stopped working after the third use. Burnt $150 worth of meat trying to smoke low and slow. The thermostat broke and it sent the temp up to 400. Their customer service was awful to deal with it. Basically said we broke it intentionally. Comma to get a new grill. What? We had it two weeks. We took it back. Go to love Costco's return policy. Fitbit. Those last a few months. Got it replaced under warranty. Which also then died. Same thing happened to my wife's as well. Oh. And a palm pilot. Tech was evolving so fast that it was horrifically obsolete in just a couple of years. Edit. The Fitbits were charge 3. All died the same way. One day. They just randomly powered off. Maybe just a recharge? Okay. So the Fitbit would buzz. 
Wait about 10 seconds. And buzz again. There was a way to attempt to reset them. But it didn't work. Fitbit customer support knew it was an issue. My last one was about a year and a half ago. When EA released their first version of Battlefront I dropped $130 on the collector's edition. It was my first and only purchase like this. Raken earbuds. Fidget spinner. Just out of curiosity. What did you think it did before your purchase? It's meant for people with hyper ADHD issues or people who can't stop moving and need something to fidget with. Edit.